Batman? I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Yeah, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh... Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad <laughs> ever happens to <laughs> Bruce Wayne. And besides the whole dead parents thing. Bruce! Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? Bottle's under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. Wasn't sure I could trust you, John. You were more than a little erratic at the funeral, and... And it was important to me that I find the Riddler. And, you know, you were my only lead. Okay, I, I guess that makes sense. It's rude, duplicitous, and invasion of my privacy-like, but it makes sense. So... really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I wouldn't have blamed you. Riddler deserved everything he got. Why, Bruce? Seems like you hated him even more than I did. Maybe you pulled the trigger. Wouldn't that be a guess? <laughs> Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. Pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> I, 
And Bruce, friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. Are you calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. Then it's gonna be your last mistake. Kiss your ass goodbye! Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. Well, I'll give you a chance. But I guess I'll have to keep it. Wait. That was a trick! Perfect! Oh. <laughs> oh, lovely violence. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Willie had a problem. We took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. All right, freak show. I'm calling the Come cops. on. <laughs> Better get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic! <laughs> oh, cool! They're expecting you. Uh, Br Bruce, um... Wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. It's it's an odd feeling. At first, I, I thought I had some kind of disease, but uh, no, I, I think it's love. I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost. Got it? Oh, damn it! I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. No, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, Bruce. I mean, wow. around all right Wayne you got my attention give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains real bright <laughs> that's a pretty good reason I like a guy who's good with his hands I'm just Josh and your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Now Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure. I can see the funny side. 
See, I told you, Bruce is a good sport. Bonilla says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? I want to run this town. Just like Falcone. Just like my father. You can help me do that. Uh-huh. Sure. The playboy's trading his tux for a Tommy gun. Bruce has hidden depths, Harley. Like, really deep. When we were in Arkham, we got into all kinds of mischief. He showed me some of the darkness he's got inside. You don't forget something like that. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushie. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? Nah, <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I ask myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old Puddin'. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? You shouldn't. You can't trust anyone. Not in our line of work. Ain't that the truth? You're not what I expected. Still, you gotta show me you got what it takes to be part of our... pact. Oh, gee, thanks, Blood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. <laughs> you just made my day, Bruce! I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe a whole kingpin of Gotham shtick won't seem so absurd. And maybe, just maybe, I'll vouch for you with the others. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. 
and it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? You don't have to worry. I promise. I'll take care of it. So glad to hear it. Maybe you are my kind of guy. Well, then, let's get moving. No time like the present. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking, <laughs> is everything okay? Well, no rest for the weary. Uh, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. Sir, ma'am, this is private property. You really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? Is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. Just stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Okay, okay, we'll do it your way. Just don't hurt anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's in charge. How cute. Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. Uh, prospective clients. At this hour? It, well, they have to catch an early flight. I want to buy Wayne Enterprises. Bruce says he'll give me a generous deal. Oh. Well, no one ran this by me. That's because he's giving me your job. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? 
You worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> Your friends don't suit you, Bruce. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Tempting, but I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. Yes, that would be a terrible idea. Bruce has a job to do, remember? Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? I don't know this. This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Hmm. Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol Vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. All right, that's a start.
Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Getting there. Prince should do it. Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. You've never put my father in harm's way, huh? You've got a secret room full of weapons. And those maniacs you brought here. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. You're full of crap, Bruce Wayne. Every word out of your mouth has been a lie. An honest friend would have come clean at the funeral. But you just told me whatever you thought would shut me up. I lied to protect you, Tiffany. To, to keep you from situations like this. Sure you did, Bruce. You're a real Boy Scout. Whatever else my father did, he sure as hell didn't raise a fool. I'm not sticking around for you to give me up to your psycho friends. Tiffany, don't! Hey, I remember you from the church. Well, how about that? Looks like Brucey boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kinda like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? Or am I gonna have to find out the hard way? We grew up together. You could say she's family. You no family of mine. Oof! Bruce, your friend seems a little hot under the collar. <coughs> she certainly has your fire, Bruce. Or should I say, your spark. You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab! I whacked a bunch of people in my time, sugar. But I don't think your old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the name. I can't believe you'd associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, 
gruesome. Needed some friends to help you run Gotham like your father. Now you want to be part of the family, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm with you. Birds of a feather and all that. Oh, gross, I'm tearing up. You can be a real heartbreaker when you turn on the charm. Mm. Let her go. Bruce will keep her quiet, one way or another, now that he's part of the family. Ah, uh, Harley, look what I found. It was just sitting out in that vault. Oh, that's great, Pud. You get a cookie, too. Mm. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. <sighs> What I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. <laughs> who the hell wants to do hard work? I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing scheme. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? John! <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. freeze is gone. What have you done? You need to uncover. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. 
There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You showed me you were loyal back at your office. Did everything I asked, despite all the trouble I gave you. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment, but don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. So what's in it for me? What's my cut? <laughs> what do you need a cut for? I thought you said you wanted to run this town. You play the long game here, I promise you'll get whatever your heart desires. As for what we're up to, all will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique? You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead. Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, it's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Listen, I know about your father, about how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? Look, I lost my parents too. I know the story. 
Everyone in this goddamn town knows the story. It don't make you president of the Dead Parents Club. If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. I have connections, Harley. Good ones. I dig up everything I can of potential business partners. A background check? I guess that's only fair. Still friends? Yeah. Still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just... don't bring it up again. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. Buddy, it's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office, uh, making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever ever talked without her losing interest. It was great! I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to help too. You didn't catch it? When it looked like Bane might kill you, I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. Well, then, I owe you my life, John. It's what pals do. I know you'd do the same for me. And wouldn't you know it? You nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. The package is moving! What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pack. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. In or out? The aristocrat is not afraid to dirty his hands. I say we add him to the pact. In. There may be more to Wayne than first appeared. He can be trusted. In. Bruce is strong and smart. Handsome, like super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You learned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. 
When we work together, the world can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hind! Wayne, we are close. Make your device ready. Will do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh huh. What? No. You are providing our escape. Yeah. Waller. On the move with targets. Track the signal. Get your people here now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. Now we do this. Wait, what in the... I gotta say, Bruce, now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes, armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Bane! Do it! What was what that? What the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? My gun, it's fried! All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp! Secure the vehicle! on the perimeter. Yeah, Keep... yeah. Freeze! Open the door! Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. Allow no sudden moves and no talk. Strike it. Go on. Quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. Back off! Or I'll shoot! No! No! Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. I would not turn my back on you. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here! Be careful not to get in my 
away. Secure the cargo. did well tonight, Wade. Better than that yammering harpy. How could we leave her? We need to get Harley. Now! Impossible. She's dead. Or in jail. So we break her out! And if she's dead... You better hope she's not. We have to help her. She'll be expecting us. She needs us. We'll get her back, John. I promise. Great. Let's go. We have to go now. Right now! We don't have time to waste on her. What? What? That's enough. Save your breath. We have the cargo. Let's get this over with. You'll regret this, Bane! Forget him. We have a job to do. This key is yours, no? Open the box. Be quick. It is sad to see a legend so, but there is no other way. At least now, we finally have everything we need. Riddler will open the path to us, once the thief brings the last piece. I'll open any path for the right price.